Nigerian Hunters and Forest Security Service says the interception of the 11 pipeline vandals during its anti-oil bunkering operations in Ogune Land in River State comes as part of its efforts to complement other security agencies across the country. At this leadership training for senior officers of the Nigerian Hunters and Forest Security Service, in collaboration with the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, over 300 of its personnel are being trained in operational and leadership skills to improve their performance. The Commandant General of the Hunters' Body says the training is vital to ensure its personnel operate under standard security procedures and to ensure more operational successes ahead. We have a department called uh, anti uh, uh, under the leadership of Shukuada. He is doing greatly well. Just uh, last month, we apprehended about 11 vendors in collaboration with civil defense in Ogoni land. And we send the information properly. We, what we are only appealing to federal government, our bill that will be passed by both houses of National Assembly is currently on the table of Mr. President. We want Mr. President to give official assent. This we are boarding all our officers in all the command structures to work with the consulted authority. Despite its contributions to security operations, a bill to formally integrate the Nigerian Hunters and Forest Security Service into the nation's security architecture sits on the President's desk, yet to be assented. They urge President Bola Tunumbu to assent it. This is uh, one of the ways to boost the morale and also to boost the confidence of the citizens that the Nigerian Hunters and Forest Security Service personnel are well trained and um, are ready to take over the assignment which is protecting the forest for the Nigerians and also the farmers too. I'm begging him to please use this opportunity to look into the Nigerian Hunters and Forest Security Bill. It's about time that he has sent the bill. He signed the bill so that it will boost and empower our members to do more. The training is an initiative to boost the capacity of senior officers to cascade knowledge to the lower ranks of the service ahead of their formal integration into the security architecture of the country once their bill is assented. Ferdinand Duroha, Arise News.